Bubble just dropped one of its biggest updates ever, a brand new native mobile builder, now in public beta. After years of workarounds and wrappers, you can finally build a real iOS and Android app natively directly in Bubble. In this video, we're taking a first look. What's new, what's possible, and what this means if you've been waiting to bring your Bubble app to mobile. No extra tools or code, just everything in one place. Let's check it out. Let's talk about why this release matters. Until now, building a mobile app in Bubble meant finding a workaround. You'd build a responsive web version and then either live with it being browser-based or you'd pay for a wrapper service like BDK or Natively. These worked, but they added cost, complexity, and more places for things to break. Plus, publishing to the App Store or Google Play always meant exporting files, compiling them, and following platform-specific steps. That's not easy for non-technical builders. This release doesn't just simplify the build, it also simplifies the deployment process by bringing it all into one place. First, Bubble now organizes your apps into projects. A project can be a web app, a mobile app, or both. You can start with just one and add the other later without rebuilding anything. That's because the backend is unified, same database, same workflows shared between your web and mobile builds. Now let's jump into the editor and look around. When you start a mobile app, Bubble gives you a dedicated mobile canvas. The layout system is similar to web, but optimized for mobile first UI. Native apps come with powers that web apps don't. So you'll also notice some mobile specific components. These are built on React Native under the hood. So when you use them, they're being rendered like a real mobile app, not a web view pretending to be one. You get support for things like native navigation, push notifications, location access, camera input, and smooth swiping gestures built right in, which typically require plugins to work in a web app. It's early in the beta, but the core experience feels really smooth and accessible. You can test your mobile app in a mobile-specific web preview or with the Bubble Go app on your iOS or Android device, which we absolutely recommend downloading from the appropriate app store so you can preview what it feels like on a real device before you publish. Once your app is ready, you can publish directly from the editor. Now, it's not completely one-click publishing because the app stores still have their own requirements. You'll need developer accounts, you'll need to go through store reviews and upload assets. But here's the important part. Bubble generates the build files for you. It takes care of packaging the app, bundling the code, and preparing everything you need to submit to Apple or Google. That's a huge time saver, and it makes mobile publishing way more approachable for non-coders. So what can you actually do with this right now? First, you can start building your mobile UI directly in the new Canvas, even if you're not ready to publish yet. If you already have a Bubble app, consider building a dedicated mobile experience instead of trying to cram everything into a single responsive layout. Think about what parts of your app really make sense on mobile. Maybe a lighter dashboard, maybe task tracking, or quick capture. Also, keep performance in mind. Native mobile users expect apps to be fast, smooth, and intuitive. So this is a great time to rethink UX and flow for mobile. So far, this is a huge step forward. It's early, but Bubble has laid a solid foundation. And as you can see from this roadmap, they're already working on big features like in-app payments and offline support. Pricing is also getting an update. You can build web only, mobile only, or both, and pay for the plan that fits your project the best. And good news, right now it's free to build mobile apps until October 1st, 2025. This helps you experiment, test things out, and even launch real products, all without needing to upgrade to a mobile specific plan yet. Now, before you go, if you're finding this helpful, we have so much more to teach you over in our free extended workshop at coachingnocodeapps.com slash workshop, where we'll guide you through our four-phased approach for going from idea to app. So if you're looking for a start to finish guide, go ahead and register for that workshop right after this video, you'll get immediate access. For now, this is a huge shift for bubble creators and honestly, something people have been asking for for years. So we're excited about what's still to come. All right, I hope that was helpful. And if it was, don't forget to register for that free extended training over at coachingnocodeapps.com slash workshop. You'll get immediate access as soon as you register. And the link for that is in the description below. Okay, happy building.